Good afternoon, Chris Geffen here. I feel very qualified to give you the information for this next, next subject, and that's how to get big on a budget because I did this for many, many years when I had very little money, not that I've got that much money now, but I can now afford something further than a tin of tuna, which is pretty much what I ate for several years there. For breakfast, God, if I think back to what I used to eat, wow, I don't know how, how I put it down me, but I was on a budget. So this is what I used to do. First thing in the morning, I'd get myself a protein. I'd get myself a protein powder and I'd mix it in with oats. And that would basically be my breakfast with some nuts on top. So it's like a homemade muesli, but my vanilla protein powder uh, would act like a milk. So what I generally would do now is have like half a scoop of like recaged and half a scoop of casein mixed together in with uh, some oats and some nuts. That's my breakfast. And then throughout the day, it was very, very repetitive. It was many tins of fish, tuna, salmon, sardines. Um, that was the cheapest form that I could eat over here. And that I, you know, I know now that you have tilapia. Uh, so that is something that people can have on a budget. It's not the best form of fish by any means. You can get a lot better cuts. Uh, but if you're on a budget and that's your choice, that's what you're left for, that's what you go for. So you can go for tuna, you can go for sardines, you can go for salmon. Uh, you can also go for your tilapia. But make sure when you are looking at the tinned portions that it doesn't have oil or it isn't in brine, that it is in spring water. The carbohydrates that I used to have were basically two throughout the day. It would either be rice or be potatoes, whichever was cheapest. Um, and I would just, you know, force them down me in order to have it, you know, it, it, so it wasn't so dry. Sometimes what I'd do is mix up a lot of salad in it. If I mixed a lot of salad within it, shaved carrots and shaved uh, lettuce, shaved cucumber, I found that I was able to get that down me a lot easier. Now, Luckily, I lived on a farm, so I could go over to the farm and just get myself some chicken. That isn't available to everybody I know. But if you can afford some chicken, sometimes what I like to do is go to the supermarket and I'll go to the, you know, the special section in the fridge. So it'll be stuff that will maybe about to go out of date. That following day or two days later, I would purchase a load of that, everything that's on the shelf, and then I'd put a lot of it in the freezer. So then I would eat that every now and again. Now chicken breast or turkey breast to me was always quite dry. So what I'd do is finely chop it up or grind it up. And I found that I was able to get that down me easier because when you're eating the same thing, all of these meals, because you don't have versatility, because you cannot afford steak, you can't afford any you know, beautiful cuts of meat or anything like that, you do what you can just to ensure that you can get it down you. Um, other, another carbohydrate option that I'd have post-workout, um, depending if I had a very, very active day or if I was going to go out on my motocross bike or do mountain bike or anything like that, I'd have a banana. That would be my carbohydrates along with my proteins. Um, so, you know, when you're on a budget, it's tough. Now, a lot of my programs do suggest about five days a week weight training, but I have one program that is three days a week. Now, if you can't afford a membership or if you can't afford to go to the gym frequently, then just go three days a week. I won't, I'll say, do as I say, not as I do, because, you know, I found a way of breaking into the gym, the college gym when I was younger. Uh, I'm not saying that you should do that because it wouldn't open early in the morning, but if you can only afford it three days a week, do three days a week, and maybe one or two workouts you can do at home with plyometric activity. So they could be squats, they could be lunges, they could be push-ups, they could be uh, close grip dips, you could do dips on a bench, anything like that, something is better than nothing. So just get creative with your nutrition, even though you don't have that much creation around you. And, uh, you know, obviously you get a little bit creative with your workouts at the gym and at home. And when it came to supplementation, I'd pretty much eat protein and glutamine. Those were those two uh, priorities that I would go for. I couldn't afford anything else. Of course, I wanted the entire stack, but I couldn't afford it. But protein, I found, fast digesting protein straight after my workout, a slow digesting protein immediately before bed, along with some glutamine was fantastic to allow me to recover in order for me to push myself in the gym. Because even though I was you know, relatively starting out, I pushed myself very hard, pretty much as hard as I do now. So, uh, you know, your nutrition is everything regardless of your budget.
Hey guys, Chris Gethin, hope you enjoyed these videos. If you want more videos like this, check out the Cage Muscle YouTube and the Chris Gethin YouTube. And if you want the Cage Muscle products, you can get them on cagedmuscle.com.